I have not seen or listened to the alleged audio recordings. I have only heard the complainant on a television program say that she was asked by a teacher in the chemistry department of Delhi University to record every conversation with me. Uh, the second thing she said in the same program is that another teacher of this college whose name she did not want to reveal asked her to reveal the tapes, hand over the tapes to, to both to the police and to the media at a certain time. Now, I would ask a few questions in this regard. One is, if these tapes were important, why were, they not, why were they not submitted to the Internal Complaints Committee together with the complaint? Because usually when you submit a complaint, you would use all supporting evidence which might favor you. Secondly, why were these tapes not submitted to the police with the original complaint? Third is, why were these alleged tapes revealed now, in the recent times? So, uh, it is very, what is obvious from this is that there is a certain group working behind all this. So, essentially, this is, and it is now public knowledge, it's a matter of a political game. And I say this with a lot of sadness, that the complainant has become unwittingly, sadly, lamentably, a tool in the hands of certain individuals. And I feel that's a very unfortunate state. No human being should be used by another for any ulterior motive. I think the greatest crime a human being can do is to use a vulnerable person to play politics.